Today's youth deserve to be seen, to be heard, to have someone care about their growth and foster and mentor them into the person that, that is intrinsically destined for them to find inside of themselves. My name is Nikki Giraffo, and I am a practicing artist, a public school art teacher, and the executive director of Refuge Art School. Refuge is at a pivotal point in the organization. We are expanding, we're growing, and we need space. We need those resources. We are ready to have a professionalized space for our students so that they can experience being closer to their community and visible to their community. My name is Four Nichols. I'm an artist, a woodworker, and the co-founder of Refuge Art School. The new Refuge is gonna be broken down into three distinct areas. The ceramic studio is gonna feature a sink, a kiln, pottery wheels, and a community building table. It's going to be a drawing and painting classroom, a space that is decked out with multi-purpose workstations. It's lots of extra storage for artwork. It's gonna be easily accessible for students and staff alike. You'll receive more visibility, more exposure to our community, and uh, really kind of showcase what we're doing at Refuge. It would elevate their own practice as an artist, and it would elevate their understanding of their own self-worth. This is a diverse community, community of color. When two cultures come together, they're able to share experience, method of making, method of crafting, tradition are being spread. You meet a lot of good people here. Just a lot of good people and good energy to be around. It feels like a safe space for me to connect with myself and um, others as well. I think it's the resources and just the space in general gets me like into the zone. Um, the community is definitely a big part in what I love about Refuge. I feel very safe at Refuge and I feel like I'm able to connect with a lot of more people because I know like everyone's here because they want to be here. When when you're donating to Refuge Art School, you're allowing us to build a legacy. You're allowing us to work directly with the public school student, with the Lowell student, to build a space that they have always imagined to have, to build a legacy that they always want to come back and continue on the education of the next generation, that they are the community and they participate and they can be heard within our community, that their voice matter. Is that our programs are student-led, student-curated, student-inspired, a lot of what we choose to do is really contingent upon what students want to see and what students need. The program is always organically evolving to meet those needs. I think the new CEO gives us more space to have more people in because it's what, what happened here at the last semester classes is starting to get crowded because of all the people, which is nice for the community, but it's tight for space. I think it will be much easier to work with all of our items that we use on a daily basis. I've been really wanting to go into ceramics and I heard there's like a space for ceramic only and um, I'm excited for that. I'm very excited for the move and I really hope that we can make it happen because it's getting more full every semester. So we have more students, it also means that we have limited space which can be sometimes challenging but moving into a new space it means we can start fresh still gonna be our safe space yeah it's just it's a it's a really like welcoming space and it's just it's overall one of my favorite places to be when i want to do art the stuff that i love like hobby that i love this is my home it's my home ever since i was in middle school one of my favorite places to be by donating to refuge you will be directly supporting the growth of this one-of-a-kind program that really honors the diversity of Lowell, it honors the importance of our education and donating to 
this cause and this relocation project will honor the work that we've been doing for the last 10 years to provide equitable arts education as a civil right for local youth. Audio check, one, two, three. Boom, boom, boom. What's now a blooper? Oh, <laughs> this is our blooper. <laughs> I just did my makeup for this. <laughs> Walk out. You need a second? <laughs> Um, but not putting in Amazing and inspiring, not just for the people who visit, but for Maritza. <laughs> Get in here. <laughs>